predicted that tomorrow in, he has a dental appointment. In, in, An hour. So Kuf, Kuf Chaf Vav. Amen, Rabbi Yirmiya. Sorry, Kuf Chaf, what, where are we? We're on Mesech the Shabbos. 126. Kuf, 126. Kuf Chaf Vav, 126. We said, the Mishnah said, Ben Kach U Ben Kach, the Chachamim say either way you can plug up the window with a shutter. Whether it's tied to the building or not tied, as long as it was prepared erev Shabbos to be, to, I, I designated. Oh, this board I'm going to put in the window to close it up, even if it's not tied to the building. Remember, the other mandom in the Mishnah, we have said it's got to be tied. Otherwise, it looks too much like binyan. It looks like too much like building. So if that's correct, they could have said easy. It would have been much easier to say the low pligi rabbanon ella atluya. Rav Liezer boy kosher v'tolu. That Rav Liezer requires it to be tied and hung. And v'afilu kosher, and even if it's tied in Rosh Hashanah Negro Arts, if it's Rav Liezer held it was dragging on the ground, kosher v'le Rav Liezer kishom to not karko bone and bolach have to consider like big. V'rabon armi le bein tolu bein negro. It does as long as it's tied, whether it's suspended or dragging, poiky can bow as long as it's tied. So. Gemara says, no, the Machlokas here in our mission is the same by another case. What's this other case? It's not. Neger on Negra. Neger is like a is like a key or a bolt for a door. It's not really part of the door, but they would tie it to the door to keep the door in place. That's a neger. So the din was, noyalan boy by migdash alova of alova medina. Remember, in the base of migdash, there's no shvus midrabonon. Whatever gzeiras rabonon do doesn't exist in the base of migdash. And it's here we're talking about that this was tied to the door, and therefore it's specified, and 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 that's what it's designated. And therefore, it's only a gzeira, since this thing is hanging and gra- dragging on the ground, that the Chachamim would say, you're not allowed to do it. That's in Bendino, and then in Mikdash, they're not goyzer. But the Hamunach, if it's not tied at all to the door, it's on the ground, kan v'kan oser. It would be oser according to both shittas. Rav Yuda Oymer Hamunach Mikdash, even if it was tied on the ground, the base of Mikdash, you could do it. The Negra, if it was tied but dragging on the ground in Medina, you could do it. The Tanya, Ezo Negra, Negra, Shunoyale, Bob, Migdash, Abelob, Medina. What kind of bolt can you use in the Migdash and not in the Yushalayim? Kosher, Kosher, Vitoli, Virosh, Magila, Aret. It's tied to the door. It's just, it's, it's, it, the rope is long enough that it reaches the ground. Rabbi Yudoy, Mayor, Zap, and Medina, Mutu. This is permitted even in your Shalai. We don't have to worry about basically. What would be considered in Medina? It's not tied and it's not uh, or it's not suspended. You, you completely separate it from the door. We can leave it in the corner. That would be Osir. So just like we see that there's a Bachlokas here by, by in both cases, they're tied. We say in our mission as well. We're talking about clearly that it's tied, just like it's tied, and therefore, if it's not tied, from the other would hold in the migdash would be also. Our mission would be our mission made to Ula, Mantana Negra Negra. From the other, I maybe you could say that the, the author of the Baraisa that we just quoted is Bechla from the other. Come and nothing to do with. Omer lay, but still, I know the There's still another Tana on this case, the Tanya. 
You have a stick, a reed, and you want to use this also as a bolt to lock the door. As long as it's tied and suspended, you can use it. Then it looks too much like binion, therefore, ain't posech v'no. But Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, oh, I'm tukan. We don't need a tie. As long as you designated it for use, Arab Shabbos. Afal pishe in a kosher, even if it's not tied. And on Rabbi Yudabar Shilos, 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 And halacha in the Rambam, neger sheyesh hocha boshanas lo tzorch nakar. If it was a dead bull, that's clear like a dead bull. You do not have to tie it. Like we hold, like Rashi Gavliel, the way the Gemara Paskin. And certainly a, a, a deadbolt that's tied and suspended, you, it's not mukta, and you can use it in every any door. That's the Shulchan Aruch Paskin. Straight to Gemara, Romi Yom, Rav Yechner Hachi. Did Rav Yechner learn this? But not. Any coverings of kalim, a lid. They're not mukta. That this lid could be used not just for covering the pot, it could be used for something else. And if you're going to tell me regarding the way Rabbi Shimon Gamliel Paskin, regarding that reed that you're going to use, that it has to have a Torah's Kli, we don't need that. We have another Mishnah, palm branches, you prepared them for, to use as fuel for a fire. V'nim l'chalen l'yashib, and you want to sit on them. It's not enough just to think about it. Tzorich likshor. You got to tie them together so like they make a sofa. But Rav Shira Gamil, I'm in tzorich likshor. So we have a barais that's clear that it doesn't have to have a Torah's clear love. So Rav Yochanan svir lekavos ebechada, u poligal ebechada. Rav Yochanan holds by him regarding one issue, regarding the fact that it's got, as long as it's prepared Arab Shabbos, even it's not tied. But he doesn't agree with, with Rav Shem regarding that it requires to have a shame Kli on it. Rabbi Yechner requires it. Rav Shem Gamil does not require it. Dorash Rav Yitzchak Navcha Pizcha de Reish Kalusa. Rav Yitzchak Navcha was darshaning at the, at the doorway of Reish Kalusa. That, Halacha Rabbi Yezer. That the halacha is like this Rabbi Yezer, that it, it requires the shutter has to be tied and suspended, not dragging on the ground, in order to use it as a shutter for the window. Mosif Rav Amram. So, um divrem la madnu, shepoikikiu, shepoikikinu, moidin the koishin b'shabbos. This is a different sugin in the last parak. Rashi says, "We may olive shul rab tzorik, we may abba shul ben botnis shepokek was amor b'tfiach." They, this was a very complicated case of how to prevent tuma from entering a certain house. So, from their words, lo madu shepoikikin. You can fill up a window, even with something that's not tied to it. As long as it's not a kasher shokayama. Excuse me, my daitech mishum diktani stoma. Now, why do you think over there, when Rav Yisroch Nafch over there, um, you, they paskin aloha because it's a stam anonymous Mishnah, and normally we paskin like a stam Mishnah here also. Neger and Neger are not in The price regarding this dragging Neger is also stam, it's unnamed. 
still, a filochi might serav. It's better to give it, when we pass in halacha, to learn from it. Since they gave us a story about Aviv Shavav Tzadik and Abba, that's a Misa. That when they tell you a story and then they did it, it's more dogmatic. It's more informative for us to pass in halacha if we're told a story as well, besides just Stama Barais. Mishnah. If there are coverings of a, of a kli that has a lid, has something to hold on to it, me tall in So they're not muktza. That's like a, a, a hole in the ground, like a hole of a bore, like a manhole cover. That's where there's a requirement that if we say it's not muktza, it's got to have some kind of handle on it to pick it up. But I'm a bikisli, I came in. But let's say you have a pot and you have a lid of a pot. That's clearly not muktza. Because by the things that cover a karka, we're concerned it looks like bone. If there's a besachiza, it's clearly not bone. You're lifting it, you're putting it back. It's not there permanently. But by regular kalim, it doesn't require that kind of uh, simon. It's a kli, a kli is a kli is a kli. That it's not just, we have, there's another, another get there, another uh, requirement for the kli, for the lid of the kli not to be booked. So. That it can't just be used as the lid of a kli, as the lid of the pot. This lid has to be able to be used for something else. If it, all it is is a kisui kli, it's not considered a kli. You've got to be able to use it for some other purpose. Regarding manhole covers, covers that are covering a bore, we have already said, unless it had a handle, it's not considered a kli. If it has a kli, fine. It's not muktza. If it doesn't have a kli, it's muktza. Kisui akeli mafo gavdein lem besachiza. Normally, covers of a pot, even if even it doesn't have a handle, it it would also keep leaky. So there's no machlokas that they would also be not mukta keep leaky. Bekelin de chabrinu ba'ara, a new concept. You have a kli that's wedged into the ground. It's mechuber to the carpet. And the question is, are we geyser, a kli of a pot, like a kli that's covering a regular board? One holds that we're geyser, some we, and the other says we're not geyser. Lishta read another version of this, ki pliga bikisui a lid or a cover of an oven. Now an oven is a big item. So perhaps it's more comparable to, a, to the karka. Where if there's a base achiza, fine. If it's not, it's not fine. Where, where it doesn't require a base achiza. New parak. Parak Shmonasar, the 18th parak. Kuf Chavavah Mibet. Mish. So you have your living room and your living room is full of boxes of straw. And on Shabbos, you, some guests show up. The Mishnah says you can move those boxes into your basement to make room for the orchi. Now, what malacha are we dealing with here, gentlemen? Rashi says, Loi chashina le tircha de Shabbos. It's just tircha. It's, 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 it's a gzera of tircha ba'alma. We're going to see another, another words, uvda dechol. Things that you do during the weekday. It's also not a malach on Shabbos, it's a gzeira. 
So like so we used to call this Shabbos stick. This Shabbos stick. So for example, our rep, our rebellion is to tell us don't play basketball on Shabbos. Well, you're in a hut, you're in a, you're in a, you're in a gated playground. There's an A rule. There's no problem with uh, carrying. So they used to say that it falls under this category, either Tircha de Shabbos or Uvda de Chol. Too much uh, physical activity that's not needed. So very specific halachic terms, Uvda de Chol, which comes into play a lot. A lot of the shilas that regarding Shabbos, <laughs> we're not talking about the Raisas, they're not even muk. It's these these more complicated issues of tircha and uv to the chol. And and what's the get there? The problem is the the, the gedorim are not that defined. But anyways, here we see one get there. It's not considered a tircha if you're doing it for guests, which implies if if you don't have guests, you're not allowed to do it. So there has to be a reason. We're going to see if someone's sick, but not chol shiyesh po sakon. Chol she'ez bo sakana, you can do anything. Chol she'ein bo sakana. So there, we can violate certain things, like tircha, of the chol, or here if you have guests, or some will say, if you're doing a mitzvah, right, or tzorchei tzibur. So that's why things that happen in a shul, sometimes there'll be matir things in a shul that were not matir to do at home. Because it's a mitzvah, it's our chetzibor, right? So there's a number of things that come into play there that wouldn't come into play in our homes. So what are the reasons? Let's say you need a room for the Talmudim to come in to hear the shir. You can't go into your warehouse or to your garage or your machsan and start moving things around. Now, we're also going to see that you can't just move anything you want. Mefanin truma tohoiva. So, regular truma that is tohor. Now, you can't eat it, but you, but a, but a behema, a, the, the a Peter's behema, he can feed his behema with truma tohoiva. So you can move truma to hoyu. But says Rashi, truma to me no. Peter Faber cannot give his animal, and Harold cannot give their animals truma to on Shabbos. They're required to feed their animal, but they got to give them truma to hoyu, not truma to me. Now, what do you do with truma to You use it to burn. You surf in truma to You can have, a, the coin can have a no from truma to through burning it but not through feeding your animal. Now, you can feed your animal during the weekday. Truma Tmeya. Shemrat HaKoyim Maritza B'nei HaKelev, but the Shabbos of the Yont of Mochazia. Duzuhi Biura Mina Oila. Now, what are you supposed to do with Truma Tmeya? You're supposed to get rid of it. Now, by burning it, you get rid of it. Or if you give it to a Behema. But the ain mevarim truma tmea bekotchim tmea biyontiv. You're not allowed to burn truma tmea or kotchim on yontiv. And we learned in Bamei Madlikin ain Madlikin b'shem and sreif of yontiv. Who came the time of Mishum Dein sreif and kotchim biyontiv, and certainly not on Shabbos. Wait a second. Okay, so you can move Trumatoi, Ra'u Demai. Demai is a suffix whether Meisers have been given. We'll see in the Gemara what the Chiddush of Demai is here. Can't eat it until you're Mafrish, but you can move it. Umaiser Rish and Shanitla Trumaso, right? The first tenth of the Tfua you have to give to the lady. Now, the lady has to give Trumas Meiser from that. So this is Meiser that could be eaten. Meiser Shani, the Hegdish Shaniftu. Let's say in the first and second, 
and fourth and fifth year of the Shemitah cycle, the second tenth, you have to do, you have to separate and you have to take it up to Yerushalayim. It's called Maisur Shein. Now, if you lived in Tel Aviv and it was too far to schlep the food, you could redeem it for for a twenty percent penalty. If it was worth a thousand dollars, you'd have to transfer the kedusha to twelve hundred dollars, and you could take up the money to Yerushalayim. Now, but Maisur Shein itself, you could eat. The Hegdish and Iftu, or Hegdish that got a mum and you had Bdiya, you could also eat. So the, the Gemara will ask, what's a Chiddush here? Of course, why shouldn't we be able to move these things? Vatur Mesayavesh, like dried turnips, Mevesh Michael Leizi. And you could also feed goats with that. Avalosa Tevel. You cannot move Tevel. Tevel is produce that you have not given Trumas and Mises for it. So there's no, it's Muksa. The lowest Meiser Rishon Shalom Nitro Trumoso. Meiser Rishon that was supposed to give it to the lady that the Meiser Trum hasn't given, nobody can eat it. So you can't touch it. Lowest Meiser Shani Vegdish Shalom Niftu. Meiser Shani or Hegdish that has a mum cannot be touched if they've not been redeemed because you can't eat it. The lowest Alu, the lowest Chardo. Chardo's mustard seeds. Yeah, you can't eat it unless you grind it. So it's not, it's not, it's not, it's Moksa. However, Rabbi Shimon Gabriel Matir, Baluf that they should Michael Orvi. Luf is some kind of bean that they used to give to ravens. And uh, wealthy people, Rashi says, you would, would, would raise ravens. So therefore, you'd have food to feed them. Now, Chavile Kachve, Chavile Eitzim, Chavile Zrodim, if you have bunches of straw, bunches of wood, Imiskin and the Michael Bayim, if they've been set aside from Friday, to feed your behema, then they're not muksa. But vimla, if it's a stamazoi, ain't metatlin oisa. Frank the Gemara has the chamesh mafayin arbim aboy. What's the point of the Mishnah saying you can move four or five? If I can move five, I certainly can move four. What's the point of saying four? It's teaching me a din arba me Let's say you had five buckets there. So you can move four of them. You can't finish. You can't, you can't empty your living room or empty the warehouse. He's saying because maybe you'll see gumos in the ground there and you'll smooth it. So it's eczema. Or ikidiyami arbami oitzer cotton. From a small warehouse, you have a maximum of moving four. The chomesh got on five in a big warehouse. You only move five. So then, Omaya Valosa Oster. So, what did the Mishnah add by saying you can't empty out the whole warehouse? Shulo Yaschil Ba Oster Tchila. If you have another place where you could sit your Orchim, you shouldn't use the warehouse to begin with. Umani Rabbi Yehuda, the Isle Muktza. That's a Rabbi Yehuda who's more stringent regarding Muktza. It's not really dafka. It's like people say four or five, two or three. It's it's uh, if you need more, you can move even ten or twenty. Okay, so Mitzvah Hashem will learn tomorrow at five o'clock. Have an easy fast, everybody. Thank you. Have an easy end.